please welcome Natalie and Natasha Davies. <laughs> Look at this picture. Notice Berkeley pristine clock tower, our well-manicured landscape. Coming to school here each day is quite a privilege. It is gorgeous, welcoming, but that is only a reality for a small percentage of Bangkok youth. The majority of the Bangkok youth has quite a different reality. Now take a look at the more realistic side of Bangkok, especially in the Klong Thai slum, where more than 20% of the population live. They were surrounded by mafia gangs, walking over trash, and living by the most polluted canal in Bangkok. Well, you see, the slum doesn't make for a welcoming educational environment. So what struck us was, how could these children live in this, this kind of areas? Imagine going to school here every day. How would you feel? School environment is important for students because it can affect the mot motivation of creativity and learning. And the day we went to the Emanu Day Nursery, and right away we felt something was missing. We thought long and hard of what two teenagers could do to make a change, make a difference to this kind of environment. My sister and I knew exactly what we wanted to do for our 20 time project. We wanted to paint a mural. Due to logistical reasons, we could not paint our mural at the Klong Thai slum and decided to paint for the Samrong nursery, which is much close to, closer to Berkeley. So here's the Samrong nursery, not the worst we have ever seen, but certainly in need of some fixing up. As you can see the marks on the walls and how plain and boring it looks, the first time we went there, we had a talk with Mr. Johan, the head of the nursery, and he was very excited to get their walls painted. We then measured how long and wide the wall was and started thinking what we could paint on the wall. We imagined one big design, one big work of art. The job of an artist is to offer a sanctuary of beauty to an ugly world. We are both artists and believe that art brings beauty into the world full of flaws and stress. We wanted to improve the environment because it can stimulate the creativity in learning and to surround them with something beautiful. Okay. We decided to bring the place alive, add some joy and do so through art. So once everything was confirmed, we then created our initial, initial design. So here's our initial design. We chose the animal theme because we were inspired by nature and, they, and that they often appeal to younger children. We had no idea how to scale a design this big. Luckily, we had the help from the Berkeley art teacher, Mr. Joey, who helped us and showed us about the grading system. <laughs> So the grading system helped us to draw on one square at a time. On a scale this big, it will not be possible to freehand draw without making mistakes. Our children deserve their very best, and we were going to show them our best. Before starting the mural, we had so many concerns. Like we asked ourselves, we will we succeed this project? Will the children like our mural? And how can we fund our Supplies. Student Council generously fundraised enough money to bag sales, which helped us ease our minds about the founds, but we still had some anxiety about our first time painting a mural. Before starting to paint, we had to clean the wall. We had the help from the high school students and the teacher. They came to the Samrong nursery and volunteered to wash the walls. They also kept the students entertained by reading books, playing games with them, while we worked. Once the wall was clean, we then started preparing the wall, and we started drawing the grids. Okay. So this is how we did. We used a shock liner, 
and this is how a shock liner looked like. It took us about three hours just to finish the grids, even with the help of the shock liner. Imagine doing it without a shock liner. It would have doubled our time. Our volunteers, Jenny and Nina, started painting the globe while we, um, while we sketched the vest. We didn't finish painting in one day. We had to go on after school, on weekends, to finish. It was exhausting, but with our passion for art, the, love, the thing we love doing, we are very committed in going there. After 20 hours of painting, planning, prepping to be done, the walls turned from this into this. <laughs> One thing that motivated, motivated us was the sheer challenge. It was fascinating to see our progress from imagining, sketching, to painting. Watching this project come to life, bits by bits, was wonderful. Our dreams became reality. We learned so many things, not only helping others, but also about art, like the grading system. We can use these new skills in the future. Other than that, we earn community service hours. But on the other hand, we think we could have done something better, like we be more organized on the timeline, and we, it, it would be awesome if we have done a time-lapse video. We would like to thank to Student Council, especially Ms. Mel, who fundraised, who organized the funds. The volunteers, Jenny, Nina, and others. Mr. Joey, who taught us and worked along the art process. And especially Ms. Kelly, who inspired us, our project. Thank you. Visit our blogs for more information. So here's my blog. And here's mine. Thank you. Thank you.